In this video, I'm going to show you how to use multiple digital modulated carriers in Spectrasys. Uh, we can use up to three, and we're going to use it on this hybrid power amplifier. First, we're going to add a wireless LAN source, and we're going to go ahead and take the defaults here. However, we're going to set the frequency to 2 gigahertz and the power level to 0 dBm. In order to complete the digital modulation setup, we need to add a path, and we'll simulate the basics and we don't need the estimation at this point we're going to go ahead and hit the play button and so the RF model is being extracted passed to the digital simulation engine the digital simulation engine is going to run behind the scenes we're going to re-import the data and we can then plot the data at the path input and output so here's our power level uh, we can take a look at the RCE here uh, the RCE is about one and a half percent so let's go ahead and add a couple more carriers. Uh, first, let's go ahead and add a 256 QAM. Let's set the symbol rate to 5 megahertz, uh, the frequency to 20, 30 megahertz, and its power level to minus 10 dBm. We'll also take the opportunity to add a BPSK signal here. We're going to go ahead and take the defaults here. However, we will set the frequency to 90, uh, 1980 megahertz and the power level to minus 20 dBm. And then we'll go ahead and hit the play button here. Uh, you'll notice we didn't need to make any changes to the path because the path has already been defined uh, between the input and the output so the digital simulation engine knows uh, where the input and the output is. Alright, so we automatically import the data back into the simulator. Now this is probably something that we'll never do in practice. I mean there are requirements like limit lines here for wireless LAN but this is for illustration purposes. Uh, notice that we only have uh, one tooltip here or one annotation object. When we create the graph uh, there is an annotation object created for each of the carriers plus for multiple carriers we have a combined one that shows the results or the information for the common information. And so you'll see our carrier information here. Uh, notice that the RCE is zero. And this is because the streams are being, um, uh, they're colliding, and we are not doing any filtering. Now, if we were to look at the input, however, you'll see a few differences here. We see a good RCE here. And that is because uh, we're looking at the, RCE on the wireless LAN signal before it's actually being combined. Uh, we can illustrate this in a different way. Let's go ahead and look at the constellation for our QAM signal and it doesn't look anything like 256 QAM. Now we can go ahead and uh, let's disable the wireless LAN signal and the BPSK signal and then we'll go ahead and run the simulation again. And so as we uh, run the simulation again in this case we're only looking at the QAM signal and the interference between these other signals is going to go away and we avoid uh, the collisions and have a nice looking uh, constellation pattern. Thanks.